Hey there and welcome back to the video series about JavaFX and charts and we've built both uh, charts types, both uh, the bar chart and uh, the pie chart and let's see how we can actually modify the data runtime if we need to do that if we have an update. So we have this handle update data event handler. So what do we need to do to actually modify one of these pieces of data here? The first thing is to add well, we, we need to get the node that we're working with and um, so we are to import it Boop. and we still get we have our border pane uh, top container so we get the center this will give us uh, what we added to the border pane and I'm just gonna do this for the pie chart I think so we, we can we can do this when we are working with the pie chart and to this could introduce a potential error here because if we're doing this with the bar chart then we're not using the pie chart and then we have a mismatch of the types so we can use an if statement to check if n this node here is an instance if this is an instance of a pie chart because then if we accidentally run this on the bar chart the if statement will handle that so if we're inside the if statement we can Rest assured that this is a, pa, uh, a pie chart that we are working with. I'm just going to do PC here for, for pie chart. And then we need to cast it uh, as a pie chart. Okay, so now we have a ready made object, PC, that is a pie chart. Okay, so what should we do now? We should override one of the values in the data that we have up here and if we let's just imagine we take product C so we want to update the value of product C so we write PC and then get value Whoop. oh no we do get data first Whoop. and then we do get because we need to get the data set and then we need to select what piece of data that we want to modify and we have either zero for the first or one or two so that is the same as with an array so that is item zero and one and two so the product c is item two here and then we can run the set pi value and that was 100 so imagine that we had a huge increase in the sales we do seven 750 and override that value so let's see what happens here and if we do the pie chart, so that's product C we're going to modify now. Update data, and we can see the chart reflects immediately with the new value. All right? So that was not so difficult there, I think, uh, to modify a value inside of the chart here. And one thing before I end this video probably could be that it is a little painful to we should provide some default loading here. We should maybe load the bar chart as default. And we can easily do this inside of the initialize method that will run when we start this uh, this UI component. So we can do, basically we can do border pane set center. So now we need to actually get the uh, the object that we create here. And this is when maybe it gets a little bit tricky here because we've created this event handler and uh, we have handled bar chart and that will assume that we provide an action event parameter. Um, but I'm not really launching any, I'm not really, I don't have an event here because I'm doing this in the initialization here. So how can we overcome this? Well, a, uh, one way could be to take the code in our bar chart and then make our own private bar chart built bar chart where we're gonna put the code in here and let's do some documentation there so builds a bar chart with static data because now we can actually use this function or this method in our uh, method call up here. Build bar chart. So now we also need to do this in here. We just need to do build bar chart. 
Okay, so we've basically taken all the code from the actual event handler and put it into our own little private utility method that will build the pie chart. And uh, there is one thing that is missing because we've written that this method should return a bar chart. So we don't really need to actually add it anymore because we're going to do this in the in the event handler. And yeah, we're going to do actually we're going to need this code here. Whoop. Because we're just calling the function. Boom. So then this will become obsolete. We're going to return our bar chart. Whoop. Like this. Okay, so let's see how this works. Boop. So now it will load the bar chart right away, and we can still switch to the pie chart. Whoop. We can still update the data. All right. So we did the assembled demo of how you can uh, modify the data. And we also uh, modified, refactored a little bit the bar chart method. Uh, so it's going to uh, basically create the UI element and return it. And then we can use this handy little method here to use in our initialize and in our event handler. The next video, we're going to create this context menu so that we're able to, in our uh, UI, in this, we can actually right click. We can right click in the pie, pie chart and then we can choose to go to the bar chart. Okay, so that's just a small demo of how you can make a context menu. All right, so thank you for watching and I hope you make this work. Bye bye.